I know that uh, Dr. Bowser was telling me a little bit about you. You've been uh, um, did one of our online information sessions, mm -hmm. and then met up with Jamie, my nurse practitioner, via telemedicine back in July. And you were kind of leaning towards the interest in the gastric bypass procedure. Is that still true? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Y'all, when I tell y'all that I am at my client's appointment, right? So mind y'all, like you know how I'm going through like my little journey or whatever to have. Um, the weight loss surgery, you know, I'm like, I really just been working on my weight, you know, just doing me at my own pace. So, every time that I take my clients to an appointment or whatever, I always get on the scale. I got a little point feeling, y'all. So, I might look a little body faster. <laughs> but, y'all, check this out. I am so happy. I am currently down 27 pounds, and I feel it, but at the same time, I don't feel it. Like, I really do feel like the same size. I just don't feel as heavy and... Baby, when I tell you, God is amazing and he will do it for you. Like, as long as you know you change your mind and your body, everything will go right with it. Like, I'm just super excited and, yeah, baby, progress is progress. Hmm. Hey, you guys, today is July 30th, and baby, when I tell you I was on my way to work and I got a call from my surgery office, mind you, my surgery is supposed to be scheduled for. September 18th at 8 30 in the morning I gotta be there at 6 30 in the morning but baby when I tell you they was like they had a cancellation or something happened whatever whatever the case was baby they said would you like a um, earlier day I said yeah sure baby they told me August 15th baby that's like in freaking two weeks in fucking two weeks y'all I am just so excited but at the same time like I don't know how to feel because I'm just like I'm thinking it's about to be, you know, like a little bit over a month or whatever, but uh, save the date, August 15th, baby, we finna get snatched up, you hear me, in a good way, so, yeah, yeah, I just have to come and tell y'all without really telling y'all right now, because, you know, like, I've been, you know, doing this stuff on the low, and, I don't know, I don't know if I got a nick or not, but, Baby, we're going to eventually get one. It's I got to get back in the house. Yeah, I got to get back in the house. Y'all, I'm at work, but today is a good day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is August 7th, and I'm currently about to go to work to my first client, but that's why I'm up so early. But I do have my pre-op appointment for my gastric bypass today, and... I woke up, took a shower, you know, everything, and baby, I'm a little nervous, and this is only the pre-op. Like, I guess, like, since it's getting closer and closer and closer, it's getting, like, a little nervous. Like, my stomach started hurting. I had a little sharp pain, and I don't know. Like, I didn't really do, like, a real journey on here because I'm just, like, I really just took some time away from YouTube, you know, barely even doing the minimum. Mind you, I have a really busy work schedule, but... I'm like, I guess I kind of didn't know like what to document because I'm just like, it's literally been like over a course of the year. Like I literally started this last year. I think my first appointment was March of last year when I had got my insurance or yeah, something like that. And it's just been a long, you know, period of waiting time and stuff like that. But it's it's about to get real so i'm like i wish i did do like more journey stuff or whatever but i'm like i kind of just wanted to just do me and you know sometimes you just have to do you in life and people you know are gonna wonder and hell i'm gonna wonder my damn self i'm just like what's gonna happen tomorrow what's gonna happen in three months six months you know so i'm gonna um take y'all 
with me to this pre-op appointment and hopefully I will continue um, documenting my um, gastric bypass journey to my new life and we will just see where life takes us. So y'all have a good day and I'll see y'all at 7.30. Okay, you guys, this is your girl, Plus Ashe, and I just filled out my paperwork, and I am just waiting to go in for the pre-op appointment and do the CPAP machine. Um, they say it lasts for like an hour and a half, so I'll be here. I got my wristband checked in. Um, Mr. Man just dropped me off, and I thought it was going to be like 30 minutes, you know, like they have like a nice, nice waiting room. I'm like, just go ahead and um, go back to work and I'll call you whenever I'm done or, you know, just come up here in an hour and a half and come pick me up and we will see where everything goes. So I'm excited. Like I said, my stomach is still like hurting or I guess like I have like butterflies now that it's getting like really real. I'm getting um, super nervous. So even though it's not till next week, but I'm just like, girl, even getting to this point, it's just like, wow, Shay, really? Like, wow. So, I'll take y'all with me. Y'all, yeah. y'all like my butterfly nose ring? So, yeah. See ya. Y'all, so I'm back here in the room, and the nurse just came here, and she just took my paperwork, and she said I might have to do a, um, a urine sample back there but i just got on the scale and i am 366 pounds so i'm officially down 29 pounds when i started uh in when i had my first doctor's appointment march of 2023 i believe i was 390 pounds 394 95 pounds and baby i just been trickling 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 down so yeah, I don't know if I feel 29 pounds lighter. I mean, I can definitely, like, tell a difference or, like, feel a difference, but I don't know if I necessarily, like, really feel it or really look it. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. I mean, the numbers are going down and stuff, and I'm just like, I don't know. The numbers aren't numbering the numbers aren't matching to me but i mean i guess i mean i do feel like i got you know a little bit more neck this is kind of loose but i don't know i feel like my arms are like more jiggly because i'm just like it wasn't like this before but baby we in this motherfucking thing hey hey okay <laughs> i'll let y'all know if anything else happens mm -hmm. one two three Ooh. oh you scared Sorry. that Here you go. Oh, yeah. So since you said my um, A1C level went down to a 5.1, does that mean that I still have diabetes or pre or? Well, you're on medication for diabetes, so you still have diabetes. So it'd be if you weren't taking for medic, if you were not taking medication for diabetes and you had a normal A1C, okay. then it would. So you're still you're still are diabetic mm -hmm. because you're still being treated for diabetes. Okay. So how do people, well, what do people say when they reversed it and that's when you just take me off the medication that I'm not, or how do Well, that so that would be something you do with your endocrinologist or your primary care and what they would do, they may um, adjust some of the medications, but they wouldn't just typically not just Oh, okay. Them. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah, I mean, hopefully with your surgery, it, with the, it sounds like if the medications are working well for you, hopefully you'll be able to get off of them soon. Okay. Um, Okay, you guys, so the nurse just left out of here and um, I got my A1C reading and it is a 5.1. I think I was like a 7 point something. So I'm just like, baby, it went down. So I'm like, that's good. Um, they just gave me the pre-op surgery guide, you know, telling me to take out my piercings, no jewelry, no nails, no lashes, 
you know, come various possible. So I'm like, I'm about to put on my moo moo, like no bra, no nothing. Um, yeah. And then they gave me these two bottles. So I'm supposed to shower with them on. I should have asked the lady, could I record her going through the um thing, uh, through the um, paperwork? But um, I'll show you guys. Hold on. So like I said, they gave me these two bottles, one to shower in the night before. So this will be Wednesday night. And then Thursday morning, I will shower with this one. Um, I will be having my um, surgery at Washington University. They just gave me, you know, the parking details, you know, stuff like that. Um, she did highlight, uh, they just came over and talked to me about the anesthesia. Um, you know, what to bring, you know, leave all this stuff at home. So I'm just like, I'm not even going to have my phone. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this just give me instructions on where to clean. And it tells me, you know, like use a clean washcloth, you know, this and that. So I'm going to go home and wash all my sheets and get new bedding. Like, babe, I can't even wear deodorant. No lotion, no nothing. So I'll be showing up to surgery ashy and probably a little musty. Uh-oh. Yeah, and then they told me, you know, don't take any medications or um, if I need to take Tylenol, I think that's the only thing that I can take. And like pretty much from now on, I'm not a person who likes to take pills and stuff. So I'm just like, that won't be an issue. But come here. So now they're just going to take some blood work and then they have to run my urine over there. And baby, she used me to go get it out the bathroom with no gloves, but I'm like... She's a sister, so yeah. Blood work and urine sample, and then I'll get my test results and my MR chart. Okay. Okay, look here. Next one says green, but it's in red. You should say red, right? Uh -huh. So if you happen to say something wrong, just correct yourself. Don't uh, waste your time. Move over, okay? So read the word and not the, le the uh, color. No, no. Tell the color. Tell the color. Tell the color. Okay. For example, the third one, what, what is it? You it's should... blue, but it's green. Yeah, you should say... Green. Green, yeah. I'm okay. okay. If you're ready... Oh, let me practice real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue. Okay, so this one would be blue. Uh, Correct. Blue, red, green. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Okay, this is very, very, very challenging. Take it seriously. Okay. <laughs> and if you happen to say something wrong, just correct yourself. That's okay. 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 If you're ready, three, two, one, start. Blue, green, green. Red. Shit. Blue, red. Dang, hold on. Start over. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course. Okay, say the color. Right. Yeah. Blue. Just uh, pr practice one more time. Blue, red, green. Yes, and what is fourth one? Blue. Yeah, that's right. Okay. 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 And if you're ready, three, two, one, start. Blue, red, green, blue, green, red, green, red, blue, red, green, I mean blue, uh, green, red, green, blue, green red i mean blue uh red green blue red blue green uh red green blue green red blue red blue green okay yeah, that was a little difficult. good enough yeah Good enough. Okay. Very good. This was really challenging. One. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. Next test is And what did you say these tests were for again? It's called Stroop. Stroop test. Okay. It's measuring attention and short term memory. What was the other one? This one? It's the same. Oh, the same test. The same. It's just I have the keys. Oh, okay. Okay. I just check. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to come in and really um, tell y'all this real quick. So, those tests was crazy. Now, obviously, it wasn't crazy, but the first two tests was easy. Like, I aced them flying colors, damn near read the whole uh, two pages twice. 
So basically how he said it was measuring um, my attention span and um, something else. Yeah, if I knew he was going to be doing all that because I didn't know. But that's why I'm taking a little survey stuff. But it, if y'all ever been on TikTok, y'all will see that thing. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. I mean, see, that's what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, eight. It was like that. So, yeah. But we we got through it. We got through it. I'm just like, oh, baby. I don't know if I want to put that little last clip in there because that one sound a little slow. Yeah. And you going to tell me when to pull it up? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll tell it. Yeah, I'll fix the timer. Let's wait for a half minute. In 10 seconds, I'll again try this pressure measurement. Please don't take off your hand, okay? Okay. So again, let me... Okay, you guys, that wasn't too bad. I really didn't know what to expect. I really thought that they were gonna put me on like, um, some type of like CPAP machine and do like some breathing test or something. But I mean, pretty much all they did was go over all the information give me my soap and stuff for the shower did my blood work and um they're actually doing like some type of survey so i'm like i just did all those tests reading and memory like he literally repeated john brown 42 uh market street chicago and he literally repeated that has repeated and you know he would ask me you know like say it again like three times so i'm just like oh okay now that last test i did with like reading the letters but you were supposed to i mean reading the word but you're supposed to read the color and then baby that was kind of hard because i was confusing myself but i am a visual person so i mean it was yeah i'm a, I'm a very visual person so i'm like the first test i ate was like 150 something i actually finished that board and started over the second one was like 75 76 so i was like more than halfway through it and then the other one was a little less but i'm just like baby it was hard and they give me a debit card with 50 dollars on it so i get 50 dollars today and then in three months um you know they just asked me like my pain tolerance you know just a couple survey questions and then they gave me 25 dollars and then in six months mark they'll give me another 25 dollars so i'm just like basically they're i mean they're reimbursing me basically for my uh visit that i paid today today i only paid like 64 dollars for some change and i'm getting 50 today 25 and 25 i'm like okay baby i done made a hundred dollars off this survey and it just helps them to um see what they need to do different you know with different people's uh tolerance pain and all that type of stuff so ooh. so i'm like everything works out so yeah i'm about to go home and uh yeah, in my day here. And so, see you. Thanks for going to me to my um, pre off appointment. Um, August 15th, I will be seeing you next week. Okay? Goodbye.